Hey guys, Wing It Wade here, back from the Borderlands video. Today I'm going to be going through my second build video for Zane. Uh, this is an adaptation of a build that I previously did, but um, I've sort of incorporated the fourth skill tree to make it a lot better. So, let's get right to it. Right, let me start off with the Hitman skill tree. Now, I've gone heavy in this skill tree again, I really like the Sentinel. The whole build is based around the sentinel and the clone mainly the clone but we'll start off with the sentinel so um we're going for movement speed because zane is ridiculously quick if you build him correctly and with the addition of one of the new skills in the fourth skill tree which is fugitive um being able to shoot and sprint at the same time can make zane unstoppable as well as his clone being ridiculously powerful so um so the first thing we've got is violent speed. We put five skill points into that. Again, that's just for the movement speed that we really want for this build. We've also got gun damage is increased. Uh, the quicker we're moving, the more powerful our guns, which is crucial to this build. Got cold hand on the second row. And um, this is another kill skill. We are going to be putting a lot of kill skills into Zane because it just buffs him up really nicely as well as a clone. Drone delivery, just to get those grenades out there, and the uh, drone's going to be dropping out grenades as we want them. Got another kill skill with um, with salvation, it gives us a bit of life steal, even though we don't need it too much if I'm really honest. Seeing red, activating all action skills, automatically activates uh, Zane's kill skills, so when we activate that clone or that sentinel, we're activating these kill skills at the same time, which is really helpful. Violent Violence and Playing Dirty, two of the best kill skills we want for this build. Increased fire rate with Violent Violence and we've got um, extra projectiles with Playing Dirty. Good Misfortune, another kill skill, just adds to the um, action skill duration. So our clone and sentinel are staying out longer. So while our action skills are out, we're going to be buffed nicely with everything else that's working with this build. And then we've got... Uh, death follows close which is all of Zane's kill skills gain increased effect and duration again just really helpful because it's buffing up those kill skills we then got bad dose and static field on to help the sentinel out on to the double agent skill tree I've got synchronicity which anyone would tell you is a really good um, skill for this um, for Zane uh, it just increases gun damage We've then got increased magazine size with this skill. Uh, borrow time, increasing our actual skill duration. Like I say, we want our clone staying out as long as possible. Donnie Brook, possibly the best action, uh, the kill skill from the double agent skill tree. So whenever Zane kills an enemy, uh, him and his digi clone receive gun damage and health regeneration. And considering our clone's going to be killing a lot of these enemies, that's going to be really happening. Uh, help. That's going to be really helpful. Um, and getting us that gun damage. We've got duct tape mod. This I've mainly put it on because um, Zane gains immunity from his own grenades, which can be really helpful um, just from the explosions. We've got quick breather, so whenever Zane swaps places with his clone, his shield automatically begins recharging and restores health to his clone. Really helpful skill. We've got a packet of full grenades, this gives us re grenade regeneration. We've got old U, which allows us to get a second wind if we need it. Supersonic Man, so whenever one, one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased movement speed. Again, we really want that movement speed for the increased damage. Boom Enhance gives a bit of a buff to everything. Um, get increased gun damage, max health, fire rate, reload speed, clone duration, really good skill. And double barrel, so uh, the clone gets a copy of the gun we have in hand when we activate our clone and that is going to be a vital for this build when we go over the guns in a second. Doppelbanger and this skill are in just because when it, uh, this one, whenever the clone takes damage Zane's shield is restored and that just gives us more life. Got nothing in the undercover skill tree. 
And then in the professional, I had 11 points left, and I've been mixing them up for a while. <laughs> and I think I finally got it. So I've gone for Mana Focus, it gives us increased accuracy and handling. And uh, when we activate our action skill, uh, we've got Renegade. So after, after scoring a critical hit, Jamie generates health. Commitment, which uh, is another kill skill. This one's just to help out the action skill cooldown rate, as well as it gives us more gun damage. So this is really helpful for this build because, like I say, gun damage and action skill cooldown rate. When our clone's not there, we want our clone to come back as fast as possible. And then we've got Fugitive, which is Zane can sprint and shoot at the same time, which is massively helpful for this build because we're going to be doing a lot of sprinting and shooting. Uh, let me go over my gear. So my gear's changed from my last build. I've been playing a bit of arms race and some of the guns in arms race are really good and some of the gear in arms race is really good. So I do recommend getting the Arms Race DLC just for that. If you don't like the full skill trees, the guns are worth it. They are amazing. So we'll start off with the ones I've got equipped. So we've got Plasma Coil, which is a new SMG. Um, you would have seen it in the lead up to this. Uh, I've been using it a lot. I'm a massive fan of it already. I still am a fan of the flipper. I've still, still got the flipper, as you can see. <laughs> But yeah, this um, this gun is dominant, and the guns we want are we need to anticipate uh, our clone using them. And when our clone is using this gun, you can see the damage output is ridiculous. It is really good. The Tizzy, I'm a massive fan of this gun already. I've got two of them. I've got a corrosive one and a shock one. I'm currently using the shock one because of the anointment on it. Um, while enemies below 25% health gain more gun, more weapon damage, which is just really good. It just it just melts every boss or every enemy it comes in contact with. Hellwalker, one of the old favourites. This one's got a different anointment to my previous video. Um, it's just constantly triggering Novas, which help us out. Sandhawk, you can get this from farming Katagawa Jr. Relatively easy farm. And this one just um just does the job nicely. We've then got a new shield, and that is not a misprint. That is the capacity. <laughs> so this shield is you we pick it up in the arms race DLC. Uh, as you can see, the anointment on this really helps out because while my sentinel is active, my movement speed is increased by 15%, and this turns Zane effectively into a road runner. It's just crazy. Yeah, it reduces my fight for my lifetime, but because of this artifact, which I'll go through in a minute, that reduced for 50% really doesn't matter too much. Capacity is increased as well, so I really recommend this shield. It's actually working out quite well for me. As you can see, its capacity to my other shields are just unmatched. It's just, and I've got a good couple here. I've got this new one, which I haven't used yet, but it sounds interesting. Um, got my stop gaps and a transformer, but yeah, that capacity on that shield is really handy. Seeing dead, I was always going to be seeing dead. I've got a nice roll with this one where my action skill damage is increased by 39%. That's really helpful for what we're using it for, but the seeing dead is always going to be a class mod I always use, just because whenever Zane damages an enemy with his weapons, he has a chance to automatically activate all of his kill skills. Because we've got so many kill skills going on, we get so much more from the kill skills and this gives us a 10% effect bonus which is amazing grenade mod doesn't really matter with this one I've just gone for a transfusion tracker this is just because my sentinel is dropping my grenades and this one's got a good anointment it's giving me a little bit of boost in health if I need it um, and this one's getting increased grenade damage um, with 150% which is one way action skills are active which they're gonna have to be because my sentinel's got to drop it so just made sense uh, and then i've got this new artifact which is the dead eye death rattle uh, so <laughs> i'm getting increased pistol damage i'm getting healthy generation and i'm getting 12 percent movement speed uh for this one instead of uh so if i die with this while having this artifact Instead of dying, I automatically get a second win, and this resets when on death, when death rattle is equipped. Every second win grants increased damage and fire rate for 60 seconds. So if I go down and come back up, which is normally the case because my clone 
quickly gets a kill, I then come back and I've got increased damage and fire rate for 60 seconds. And as you can see, that's 30% damage, 30% fire rate, which is crazy. As long as I don't die, I'm really going to benefit from this. And that's not often the case. So, yeah, I really recommend this build. Other guns I've got in my inventory are the Complex Root, Skull Smasher, Oridian, Nighthawking, Monarch, Kelson, Sickle, Soul Render, Anarchy, Beacon, Light Show, Moonfire, Infinity, Hyperfocus, Clairvoyance, Flipper, Another Tizzy, Gargoyle, Maggie, Nemesis, Firefly, and then we're on to class mods, and well, that's my other class mod. It's another Seeing Dead, but this one has max health and weapon damage and dull fire rate. It's just another one I use. Uh, I'll add a bit more gameplay in now. I really hope you enjoy this build. I haven't thought of a name for it yet. I will think of something. Mm, maybe Assassin Clone. Yeah, this is my Assassin Clone build. There you go. I thought I'd just give you a quick demonstration of the speed we're talking about that comes with this build. So I've just come to Scrap Chat Climb. Okay, so, this is how fast I go with my Sentinel Active, which is crazy. That's now with my Clone Active, and now my clone's gonna be getting kill skills. So I'm gonna be going really fast. There's no editing tricks here. You see my clone's just doing all the killing for me at the moment. I'm just running around in a circle. But while I'm running, I can shoot. It's hard. But the damage output while running is a bit mental now. You can see scrap that lines here. Pretty confident my phone is. Take that scratch up here. Yeah, even so, I'm living down there in a minute. Done. And this is the, also the best way to farm the scene today, as you can see. <laughs> right. Oh, we've got two scene days out of that. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to check out my channel if you want to see some more Wing It Way content, but for now, it's goodbye from me.